Welcome back, readers, and thank you for joining us for another virtual story time. As a reminder, if you're able to join us locally, we are doing in-person story times right here on Thursdays and Fridays at 1030 for two different age groups. Let's get started with our rain stories, though. This video, we are reading Rain Boy, written and illustrated by Dylan Glenn. Let's get started. Once there was a rain boy. A little cloud. Rain boy was not popular around the sandbox or the monkey bars or the soccer field. Because, of course, when Rain Boy was around, it rained. Sun Kid was another story. Sun Kid was new. She was from somewhere on the other side of the planet. Sun Kid was the talk of the playground. She was popular at barbecues, at tea parties, and at the beach. Because when sun was around, it was sunny. Her birthday was smack dab in the middle of summer, and her parents decided to throw her a big sleepover surprise party. The whole class was coming. Rain Boy had never been to a birthday party before. <gasps> How exciting. And he might never go to one again. This wasn't the surprise anybody had planned. Oh no, he's getting everything wet, cried Olive. The cake is melting, shouted Star. The presents are ruined. Soon everyone was yelling, rain, rain, go away. How do you think that made Rain Boy feel? Just then, Sun came down the stairs. Cut it out! Stop yelling at him! Sun was ashamed of her friends. She ran back up to her room and slammed the door. The room was silent, but Rain Boy still heard the words. They looped over and over in his head. Rain, rain, go away. And so he did. A storm began to brew. Rain Boy didn't come back to school. Neither did Sun Kid. The kids said he must have kidnapped her. <gasps> it didn't matter what Ms. Parks told them. A day turned into weeks, into months of rain. People learned to live with wetness. They stayed inside and drank hot cocoa. Their flowers bloomed and their grass turned greener. They noticed they were talking to each other a lot more.
One by one, the neighborhood kids stepped out of their houses and into the streets. They came out to play in the rain. In this wet wonderland, flowers and trees were more vibrant. Beautiful reflections shimmered and stretched across streets. The kids skipped and stomped through puddles. One morning, Rain Boy took a deep breath and peeked outside. With a big sigh, he stormed a little less hard. The thunder and lightning stopped. Only rain now. Looking at the disheveled town, Rain Boy felt really tired. Sun Kid heard the rain get softer on her roof. She peeked out of her covers and through the clouds. Rain Boy? Look! It was the first time Rain Boy felt that people actually liked having him around. Rain Boy puffed up with pride. He decided it was time to be brave. Play was better together. So the next time you're feeling down and your world is dark and gray, just look. Thank you for joining us for Rain Boy, written and illustrated by Dylan Glynn. We hope to see you again very soon.